Embraer has delivered to the Brazilian Air Force, FAB, its fifth EMB-145 AEW&C aircraft, upgraded and designated as E-99M in the FAB. The aircraft has been updated to perform Airborne Early Warning and Control AEWNC, functions, as well as participate in intelligence, surveillance, and airborne reconnaissance missions. The delivery of the 5th E-99 is an important milestone for the E-99M project. This is the first aircraft delivered in FOC, full operational capability, configuration, with systems fully certified for use by the Brazilian Air Force for protecting the country and its national sovereignty, says Bosco da Costa Jr., President and CEO of Embraer Defense and Security. The executive further states, the four aircraft previously delivered will be upgraded so that they can fully perform all the missions for which they were designed. Developed utilizing the platform established by the successful ERJ-145 regional jet, the FABE-99 is capable of detecting, tracking, and identifying targets in its coverage zone and transmit the information via data link. The aircraft conducts airspace surveillance, interception control and management, electronic intelligence, and border monitoring missions. The E-99M aircraft now features an updated ERI radar and command and control C2, systems. The aircraft will also include a new electronic warfare, non-communication, NCOM, systems, a new IFF transponder, seven software-defined V, UHF radios, a new mission audio system with VoIP technology, and a new mission audio and data recorder, as well as a data link function adapted to a new architecture. The interior of the aircraft has also seen an update to improve crew comfort and expand the operating capacity with five consoles redesigned and optimized for more efficient use of the upgraded systems. The E-99M project is led by the Combat Aircraft Program Coordinating Committee together with Embraer and international suppliers such as Saab, Aeroelectronica International, and Rode and Schwartz. ATEC, a subsidiary of Embraer, is participating in the project by developing part of the command and control system, as well as six mission planning and analysis stations which will provide training and development opportunities for the crews.